Everybody's feeling the heat across East Texas, and while a number of us have the luxury of going inside to cool down, our homeless neighbors do not. Our Ashley French spoke to shelters in the area who tell us they've been seeing a lot more people come in over the past two weeks. It's their life on the line. I mean, definitely when we're getting into these heats, this heat, where we're, we're talking about life and death, we really are. And I, I wouldn't want anyone to let that, that, that fear of being judged um, to keep them from getting, these serv getting our services. Whether you need a place to stay or simply cool off, the Salvation Army and the Gateway of Hope is opening their doors to anyone in need. We're making sure that um, not only the homeless, but anyone that comes to our doors is able to get water, at least get some time in our air conditioning uh, here, at, here at our day center. Along with providing food and a place to stay. So we just encourage anyone that needs shelter or food, fans, anything that we can do to uh, help with the community to just reach out to the Salvation Army. You can come by, you can give us a call. We're here to help. During this time of year, both organizations see an increase in demand when it comes to their services. Uh, so we're doubled already in the first two weeks of, the, of these temperatures getting up there. and we, we expect it to climb. We're prepared for it to climb. Another pressing issue is inflation. As prices on food goes up, both organizations are hopeful that the community support will still be there. The community is really good about uh, making sure that they do donate, you know, uh, so we are very proud of our community. You know, uh, when we reach out, they uh, make sure that uh, they meet our need. So that's what we're expecting this time. In Tyler, I'm Ashley French for CBS 19.